Good morning. It's Friday, February 5th, and it's time for another Bowtie Briefing. It's been a long time since we've been together, uh, since the last long session ended, and in anticipation of the short session coming up, uh, we're cranking these back up to get you informed and get you ready. Before we get to the short session, though, we've got a very important thing to do, uh, and that is to make sure that you're registered to vote in the March 15th primary. So after you get done eating hot dogs and all the nachos that you could possibly stand on Sunday with the uh, Super Bowl, we need you to make sure that you're registered to go in and vote. Friday, February 19th is the last day for you to register for this statewide election. So it's very important. You've only got two weeks if you're not registered right now to get that done. After that, uh, voting will begin with one-stop voting on March the 3rd, where you can go into any of the one-stop voting shops and vote right there on the spot. Uh, those will be open uh, throughout the day in different locations in your county. Uh, absentee voting has already begun, so if you're not going to be able to show up in person, you can order your absentee ballot online and do the voting and mail that back in. And then March 15th, if you haven't voted early, is the day for you to actually show up and vote in person. So before then, the greatest thing that you could do after you've made sure that you're registered to vote is check out what your voting is going to be on ahead of time. So to go on the State Board of Elections website, you can actually look yourself up on the voter lookup. There's a tab there that says voter lookup. Put your name in and it pulls up your entire voting history. It pulls up your sample ballots. You can click on them and print them off just like I did. And that way you know ahead of time which races you're getting to vote in. So we're all getting to vote for a presidential nominee because there are primaries in both the Democrat and Republican side this year. We all get an opportunity to vote uh, for a gubernatorial candidate for the Democrat or the Republican Party. But beyond that, there are a lot of different races that are uh, peculiar only to your jurisdiction, to where you live. So you need to know ahead of time, am I, do I need to figure out who I need to vote for in this primary for state legislator or county commission? And so it's important that you uh, look those things up ahead of time and know who you're going in to vote for who, or what the choices are that you need to make uh, on March 15th. And then after that, we can start having conversations about what to do to get ready for the April 25th session. So a lot of big issues are going to be discussed this year. Uh, Medicaid reform will undoubtedly be back again, as well as a number of other topics. So we'll be getting you ready over the next few weeks uh, around the election specifically and different races that doctors are participating in across the state, as well as beginning to get you educated on the issues that we anticipate coming up in this short session and ways that you can communicate with your legislators about those issues. So we look forward to talking to you again this year. We hope these are informative and helpful and look forward to the conversations we continue to have. Have a great day.